Before we start solving this problem, let's notice that everything is held fixed in place with no acceleration. So Newton's second law tells us that all the forces will sum to zero. Now let's draw a free body diagram of the wrecking ball with mass m. There are three forces acting on it. Its weight is directed down, as always. Tension A is to the left, it's horizontal. And tension B is upward and to the right with this angle theta. We can write out the components of Newton's second law, taking x and y to be directed to the right and upward as usual. In the vertical direction, tension B has the component Tb cosine of theta, so that when we add the forces, we get Tb cosine theta minus the weight equaling zero. We can solve this for tension B. It equals the weight over cosine of theta and then substitute the known values. Finding that the tension equals 4.63 times 10 to the fourth newtons, or 46.3 kilonewtons. Now looking at the horizontal, or x components, we see that tension B has component Tb sine theta, because it's opposite the angle theta, subtracting tension in cable A, and setting the sum equal to zero, tells us that tension in A is tension in B times sine of theta. Substituting the values and calculating finally gives us 29.8 kilonewtons.